Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a first impression review of the Hourglass Vanish Foundation Stick. I just went to Sephora last night and I was not expecting to pick up anything, okay? You know the struggle. Every time I walk into Sephora or I walk into Target, it is a trap. I literally went in Sephora last night because I needed an eyebrow pencil. Somehow I came out with a foundation, an eyeliner, eyebrow pencil, and a concealer. But to make myself feel better, I was like, well, I can review this foundation for you guys, so it totally makes sense for me to buy another foundation, right? So today is actually the last day of Outside Lands, which is a festival here in San Francisco. So I thought today would be the perfect day to just test out this foundation, see how it goes. This foundation retails for $46, which is kind of pricey because it doesn't come with a lot of product. It comes with 0.25 fluid ounce, not fluid ounces, but ounces. If you guys have been interested in this foundation and you've been wanting to give it a try, then keep on watching to see how it goes. Okay, so I'm gonna start with priming my face with this Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. Decided to use the same primer since we're using hourglass foundation so hourglass primer just to make things work extra well i use like a dime size amount which is kind of a lot but <laughs> your girl just loves primers okay i love drenching my face in primer because primer just feels good all right so now on to the foundation the packaging is a triangular stick you just twist it up and the product comes out just like that i'm now on the sephora website and it claims to be a long wearing foundation stick with the coverage of a concealer fluidity of a liquid and weightlessness of a powder for invisible full coverage it also says that it is a waterproof formula provides 12 hour coverage and the innovative formula adjusts to your body temperature to effortlessly blend into the skin I'm gonna blend everything in with this sponge by Tarte. You guys know I love this. Moment of truth. We're going to swipe this on my face. Oh, by the way, I have the shade Warm Ivory, which on Sephora's website, it's a light medium with warm undertones. Okay, first impression. Definitely my skin tone, I think. Okay, let's blend it in. It glided on very, very nicely. I'm going to use the sponge uh, dry because I feel like the sponge works the best when it's dry. Oh yeah, the color is definitely on point. It blends very, very easily, so I like that. The coverage is definitely full coverage. I feel like four stripes definitely did it for me, coverage-wise. Although that looks like a lot, I feel like that's actually the perfect amount, but you know your girl. I love wearing a lot of foundation, no shame. Okay, okay, I see you. This is definitely looking good right now. Whatever is left over on my sponge, I'm just going to take it onto my forehead. As far as coverage goes, I have it on both my cheeks right now. It's not on the center of my face just yet, but I wanna give you guys kind of like a comparison. Now I'm just gonna finish off the rest of my face right here where that ginormous pimple decided to say, what's up? <laughs> and then on my chin. Okay, it covered up that redness pretty well. All right, so there you have it. I have one layer of the foundation on and I think the coverage is pretty on point. It has a very um, matte look, but as far as the feel goes, it is a little tacky feeling. So it definitely doesn't dry very, very fast. And I'm looking at my fingers and there's definitely some transfer on my fingers. So it doesn't dry very fast. You probably have to set it with a powder. I've been loving this powder. This is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores powder. Uh, I'm going to take my Luxie 520 tapered face brush. I love this brush for packing in powder. And I just like to lightly go like that. All right, so I just set this side of my face. Yes, it definitely feels better after I set it. So I think I'm just going to set the other side as well because I don't want it transferring and stuff. I just put on my blush, my bronzer. As of right now, it is definitely a 10 out of 10 because it was easy to blend. It feels good on my skin. I don't feel like it's super heavy, especially after I set it with a powder. The color match, I think, is pretty on point. So it is currently 1.29 p.m. Throughout the day, I will be keeping you guys updated just to see how the foundation lasts. Hopefully, it's going to be good because so far, so good. All right, guys, so I'm here at Outside Lands. It's been quite a few hours. It is currently 7.47. It's been about six hours or so, so let's do a checkup. Don't mind the dimples right here <laughs> from my sunglasses. You know what? It's not terrible. It's definitely cakey down here. It doesn't look 
the best but for six hours and for like you know being out and about at a festival I think that's actually okay I am oily I do feel like I need to blot my face definitely a foundation that I feel like I need to touch up on throughout the day it's not one of those that you can just put it on and go for the rest of the day I'm probably gonna touch up when I get home and see how it looks after that but so far I would say I'd give it probably like a 7 out of 10 right now I'm not loving it but it's okay Alright guys, so it is the end of the night. It is currently 10 p.m. So I've had this foundation on for about nine hours. Don't mind the lighting. I don't have any like fancy special lighting. So I'm just using my kitchen light, which I thought actually might be more like true to real life so hopefully you guys can get a good look of how the foundation looks right now i am very very oily this foundation i feel like if you're very very oily it might not be for you but if you have dry skin i think that this foundation would be pretty good you just want to make sure you moisturize beforehand so that when you're applying it your dry patches don't flake up um so now like i promised i'm just gonna touch up see how it looks after being touched up because some products once you touch up it just like cakes on and it just doesn't look good Whew. that is just one blotting sheet by the way it's so funny i checked my mail tonight and i realized that hourglass actually sent me the foundation i'm like i had just went out last night to buy it but it's okay because it turns out the colors they sent me were a little too dark and this shade that i have in warm ivory is like perfect for my skin tone okay now that the oil is off i'm just gonna go over the spots that i feel like needs touch up just gonna blend it out Okay, it looks pretty good. I feel like this foundation, definitely if you're someone that does not mind touching up your foundation, this one works pretty good. It does not look cakey. Overall, I think that this works really well for people, maybe with normal to combination skin. If you're definitely on the oily side, you might find this foundation just a little annoying because you will have to touch up throughout the day. But on the bright side, it touches up really nicely. So it's not one of those that look ugly after you touch it up. Personally for me, I would give it about a six and a half to seven. I wouldn't return this product just because I feel like although it's not a 10 out of 10 for me, it's definitely still good for those nights where, or those days where I know I'm not gonna be out all day and I just need something quick. As you guys saw, it applies so easily. Like you can just easily throw this in your purse, use it as like a concealer or a touch up stick. With this foundation, I will keep it so that I can use it for touching up or just days where I don't need a very long wearing foundation. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did and if you have any other products you want me to do a first impression review on please feel free to leave it in the comments down below and i'll see you guys in my next one bye first thing i want to mention is this backpack because i have been wearing this backpack on my instagram and the vlog channel it is from zara i got it on sale like a few months ago so it is currently discontinued i'm so sorry i know i absolutely love this backpack and hopefully zara will come out with something similar or hopefully this backpack will come back on their website but right here i just got